Hi everyone, it's me Darlene in my car. I'm doing a car vlog just because I can and it is so sunny. We have a lot of gray days here in Mississippi, which I absolutely love. A lot of rain too. Love that also. But today it is hot. I don't know what the temperature is. It's hot in this car. It's only 62, but it's, I think, 102 in this car. Um, I would open the windows. Is it going to be noisy? Let me open a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, I just wanted to get out, and I didn't have to call Derek and let him know I was leaving before. Anytime I would go out, I would let him know so that in case something would happen i wanted to know he was at the apartment that he could go to you know to my apartment to see my mother if something happened or whatever or if she called him but you know we don't have that anymore we don't have to do that so i i just went out and i came here just to walk around a little bit and actually look at some clothing i did not come home with clothing for like everyday wear but I did come home with like um, I think it might be just a long kind of a dress but it's just a straight cut stretchy cool print and that is going to be my cover-up for when I go to the pool I wear like um, spandex like you know shorts I don't wear a bathing suit oops that's Derek and um, like a tank top but I would like that on top. So I think I'm going to be happy with it. Hang on. I asked him if he was home. And uh, he is. Okay. I'll be leaving Walmart in just a bit. And I want to swing by to drop off some stuff to you guys. Period. I bought them a couple things. Um, shopping also is going to be easier for me again. Like when my mother was in a nursing home. My refrigerator was completely empty other than a freezer full of meat and whatever meat I had in the fridge that I was eating and milk and, uh, you know, just a couple condiments, things like that. And uh, that's what it's going to be back to. And uh, what leftovers I had, like canned goods, things like that, I'll be um, cooking, making some meals for Derek and Skylar. Oh, my God. I'm still jumpy and, um, you know, giving that to them. But, you know, I, I don't want to be feeding them a bunch of junk either. So I want to sit down and talk to Derek and find out what things he would like. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not against them having some sweets. Like I bought them a box of chocolate cupcakes. I'm just wondering why there's something blinking here. And... Um, you can get those at Walmart and you know just have something Skylar likes a snack after school and she was getting really used to coming home to me you know having sandwiches for them and I was doing that on TikTok took a break from that because it's just you know life has been hectic the past couple of weeks but I will get back to making them some things um, and right now I just want to drop off that and I bought them some um, sorbet, which is uh, not, there's not any dairy in it. I don't know if he still has issues with dairy. Derek had stopped dairy for a while, so I don't know. And uh, I just thought they could have that. And then I bought stuff to make sandwiches, and I brought a new loaf of bread that I had just bought that my mother will not be eating. Um, I put that in their freezer a couple days ago, so I'm going to take some of that bread out and right at his apartment just make them some sandwiches. Um, and then Skylar is working for me tonight, and I had thought we were going to cut fabric, but then I remembered that I wanted to go shopping with her. I want to go to Joanne Fabrics and see if anybody there will know about their wholesale program. I have looked online, and I see that they sell wholesale if you buy in bulk, but I couldn't really find any details. Now, do you think anyone in that store is going to know? No, no, they will not, but it'll give us a ride. Uh, this is in South Haven, which is about maybe 15 minutes. That's where her choir is, and that is, um, uh, which I went to. I know where her choir is, so on Tuesdays, if I ever want to just go shop, I can bring her to her choir group, and that's an hour and a half, and I can hit Walmart, Dollar Tree, Joanne Fabrics, um, and I think there's another place or two uh, there that I remember seeing in that little mall area. It's the same place that I shopped 
when Derek was living in Memphis. So uh, I'm familiar. It's a really nice place. And, you know, maybe when we go on Thursday, are we doing that on Thursday? No, today is Thursday. <laughs> oh, I remember. Maybe when I do that on Tuesday, I'm planning on bringing her Tuesday, I can do a little uh, tag along with me to all those stores. I don't know. I haven't done a tag along in a store in a long time. Maybe you guys will like that. So I am doing good, and I do want to remind you guys, any uh, time I talk about my mother, our relationship, how things are going for me, um, that's going to be on my Growing Up Crazy channel. I'm not going to do that on this channel, but of course I will be bringing her up because she was a big part of my life, and, you know, I, I'm still going to talk about her. But I, you know, I want to let you guys know that I'm doing uh, really, really good, and it's not because... I'm glad that I don't have to take care of her. It's because I'm glad that I don't have to wake up so scared every day that it's just going to be a full-on narcissist supply-needed day and that it, it's all going to go to shit. And it was hard. And I know it's hard for people to understand, especially my family, because if they don't witness this stuff... They don't understand. They think that this is just all bullshit. Or if they didn't experience the same things and narcissists treat their children different ways. And I came later in life. My siblings were out of the house. It was like uh, just me and my mother. My father was always working two jobs or sleeping. The only time we were ever really together was on the weekends. And uh, so, you know, I understand that it's hard for people, but I, that's why I want to keep talking about it, because I want people to understand. And for those who are living through it or have lived through it, I know they understand. So, um, you know, maybe I, like I said, maybe I can help people out. But, uh, and I also want to explain that as my mother got older, she was still very hurtful in her narcissistic ways, very abusive. I tend to not want to use that word, but that's what it is. She was toxic and abusive, but her abuse had to change over the years because she just wasn't physically able to do things, even though that might have lessened in some way to me because I had to suffer all the years of it, that intensified. So something that might not have bothered me 30 years ago bothered me now because I was so sick of it, especially her constantly dying. I cannot believe that this time she finally died. I mean, it's just, I'm going to be talking about that on my other channel, you know, what it's like uh, when somebody who's dying your whole life finally dies. So, um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to explain that this whole time. There's a woman right there. My window's open. She's bringing her own shopping bag. I don't miss that in Maine. In Maine, we had to bring our own shopping bags. And I always would forget. And I just didn't like that. And I like the bags. That's what I use for my trash can. I just have a small trash can that a little grocery garbage uh, grocery store bag fits in. And when it's full, that's it. Goes in the dumpster. I love having a dumpster, even though it's kind of far from my apart from my apartment. I wish it was. I could just walk to it, but I need the car. So whenever I go out, I just go um, throw trash away, or if I swing by Derek's or whatever. Derek and I have been able to do things like watch TV a little bit together. I slept at his place. My mom died on a Saturday, and I slept there Saturday night and Sunday night. And um, Sunday, I even went out with him to go pick Skylar up at her mother's. So I had an afternoon ride with him, and then I went home and worked again, and then I went and slept at his place Sunday night. So Sunday night, I knew that was enough. I said, I've slept here two nights, and then Monday, I worked, and... I went to the dentist, so I got out, and then I, after the dentist, I went to see Derek for a little bit. Skyla was there, but she was busy doing homework. And again, we chatted, watched some clips on YouTube of different things, and, you know, just uh, hung out for a little bit. Then I went home, 
And then Tuesday, I got to go out again because he was picking, oh, he was bringing Skylar to choir. And I asked, can I go? Because I'd like to see where it is so I can bring her if you need me to. And then when I realized, uh, when he told me it's right there in South Haven near the whole shopping area, I was like, I'm bringing her next week. I don't care if you want me to or not. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. So I went out on Tuesday, went home and slept. And then uh, yesterday's my first day that I was all alone. Now, I have been alone when my mother was in the nursing home, but I knew that she was in the nursing home and we would talk almost every day. I think there were times where uh, I didn't talk to her for like a whole day or maybe even two because it, it, she just would make me lose my mind even on the phone. It's incredible. Uh, how a narcissist can do that if you were raised with it. I would never let somebody in my life if they were a narcissist now. I, I just know too much about it. So, um, so yesterday I was all alone all day. I did go out and take a walk, but I didn't see Derek. I'm sure we texted. We didn't talk on the phone, though. No, I don't think. We just texted. and um, Oh, that's right, because we were supposed to have a storm, and uh, the school was let out early and everything, but nothing hit us bad here. It rained, and then it stopped, and that's when I took my walk, and then it rained again. And, you know, I did great. I just did good. I was able to work. I was able to rest. I was, you know, I, I wasn't in any fear of being completely broken that day I liked it I liked that very much I I feel um, a, a great sense of relief and freedom freedom from the mental abuse not freedom from wiping ass I could do that all day for anyone uh, you know it it it's just if you have a narcissist in your life you know what I'm talking about it was hard it was very hard. And uh, so now I'm just going to do things, all the things that I feel like doing, anytime I feel like doing them. And hopefully things can just go good. But do go sign up. Why, why did I say that? Do go subscribe to my other channel, Pretty Please. And uh, you know what? Now I will also be able to work on ASMR couldn't record didn't want to I, I was all you know all okay with that my mother had the TV on and I know she was you know needed me I could do it for a while at the other house because my house was big and I, I even had a, a little studio upstairs at one time but it was always so hot up there um, anyway I'm gonna be able to get back to that and I also still want to show you my bedroom the way it's set up in the dining area now before I make changes because what I'm going to do is the two bedrooms will still be my workspaces my office and my whole sewing and fabric area absolutely love that I have that I I feel like the richest person in the world because I have rooms for those things and uh, and I, I couldn't remember what I wanted to do when I had extra room and now I remember I need a craft area where I can have a table set up with stuff to make beads and places for my yarn and all kinds of stuff like that. Now I'll be able to put my craft supplies in my mother's dresser um, once I, you know, clean that out a little bit. So I'm anxious to do that, but I'm still undecided if I want to stay sleeping in the little dining room area, in the little dining room area, or if I, I want to make um, my my bedroom the living room because that would be cool you know I would like to sleep I think in the living room with the TV there I don't know see I got things to to plan and then my little craft area could be um, in that little dining area I guess I don't know I'm gonna go now I'm going to go to Derek's and uh, bring them their now melted sorbet <laughs> Skyla will be out pretty soon, so out of school pretty soon. So I want to go make a couple sandwiches so she can have some sandwiches. And then she'll be coming to my place 4 to 5 on Thursdays. And then uh, 10 to 1 on Saturdays to work. And, um, of course, when school is out, that will change a little bit. And I'm hoping I can get her at least an extra day per week. And All right, that's it. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope... I hope I'm on camera this whole time. I might be crooked. I don't know. I couldn't see. Couldn't see in the little screen at all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon.
Bye.